All right, we just arrived at the Peterson Museum and this parking lot is full of Teslas, but right now we're about to see a lot of Volkswagens, even classic ones. This is my kind of event. The annual LA Auto Show is running until December 2nd. I was lucky to have been allowed to cover a few of the pre-show events like this unveiling of the Volkswagen's new ID concept car, the ID Vision with double Z's. <laughs> The Peterson Museum is an awesome place to hold one of these events. It was super fun hanging out with a ton of my fellow auto-centric media people. The car itself, it looks awesome. The specs are good. This is a legit car, except for one small problem. It doesn't exist and it won't for many years to come. Volkswagen is notorious for announcing future commitments and hyping future vehicles, but not delivering them now when we need them and frankly it's getting old especially from a company with such egregious transgressions as diesel gate come on bw after the unveiling we were among the first to see a new all-electric feature focus exhibit at the peterson here a few of my favorite cars they have the tesla skateboard which is a work of art if you ask me especially if you talk about this came out you know many years ago i wonder if this is the exact same skateboard i saw back in the day it probably is but look at that bollinger bollinger is here too that's so crazy this car hasn't even come out yet it's not even real yet it's not a production vehicle and they have it here on the museum wow uh here's something that you guys will probably like it's the chargers um first and most important of all is a model s battery module i mean i have one of i have a couple of these at home and it's so crazy that this is a part of a museum <laughs> exhibit for electric cars uh, automotive electric or automotive cars right that's crazy uh, of course charge point uh, Edison EV this is the before the 1772 this is the paddle charger um, this is a large format nickel metal hydrate batteries and uh, lead acid battery here lead acid battery charger Whoa, look at this guy. This is uh, this is one from way back then. That's so crazy. Let's see, what can we get there? <laughs> I mean, look at that, it's all exposed. How crazy is that? That you had crazy amount of power and electricity going through that and it was exposed. Why would they do that? Why would they do that? And oh, look at this, this is the plug. Look at that, it's just a piece of wood with some copper welded onto it. <laughs> That's so crazy. Uh, uh, and look at, these are the batteries from way back then. It wasn't probably very efficient, but uh, that didn't matter because that was the only thing that existed back then. And here is the Tesla. Finally, there is one Tesla here, but it's not a Model S, it's a Roadster. 2008 model among the first Teslas that were released. Uh, it's a very important car, but I mean, it's kind of a joke. I mean, it's a tiny, tiny car. It's almost, it's almost like a toy car. It's weird, but you know, it paved the way for this new reality of electric cars that we're having, that we're living on. All right, and finally, this is the EV1, the Chevrolet EV1, arguably one of the most important cars, electric cars that exist. This sparked the modern 
you know, revolution of electric cars. So I never seen one before. This is the first time that I see one and it's funky, whatever. It's funky, but uh, when was this release? 1996 by General Motors, top speed, 80 miles an hour. Horsepower 137, that's not bad. Uh, number built only 1100 of them. Range, here's the important part. In 96, 100 miles. With, from what I think and remember, uh, it was a nickel metal hydrate battery, which that is very compelling i mean it is small i guess that's why that's what could explain that but uh yeah this is this is the famous ev1 if it wasn't for this car i bet there wouldn't be any teslas today i mean again arguably right would tesla have started building electric cars who knows we would never know i guess but i think uh there's a good chance that they wouldn't so this is a brand new exhibit at the Peterson Museum. It's all about electric cars. You can see all of these cars um, do, uh, are here. And uh, it's, I guess it's going to be here for, I don't know, 10 months or six months. I don't know. If you want to see these cars firsthand, you got to come to the Peterson Museum. Uh, they just opened it tonight. So we're among the first ones to see it. It's pretty cool. So today the exhibit hall is open for the first day. Let's go check it out. Now on the show floor at the convention center, here are the electric cars you can find. Ford Mach-E. The Karma SC2. Wow, look at this powertrain from the Karma twin motor setup. I want one of these for my Samba. Audi e-tron. Unfortunately, I will not be able to cover every single electric car this year because, well, frankly, because there's a lot of them and I don't have enough time to do so, right? But here's what is very clear is that my bias can be very, very strong and it's easy to put down any of these cars or any of any of these manufacturers' attempts at electrifying. But the truth is that things are changing and if you're thinking about buying a car, it's gonna be easier than ever to consider an electric car. I wanna thank the LA Auto Show for inviting me to be part of this uh, media thing that they do every year, be right before they open it to the public, right? It was uh, eye-opening and it was a cool thing to have access to some of these announcements and some of these cars and to the show floor here before the general public. Uh, can do so right and so once again thank you for that hopefully I did a good enough job that you guys will have me up here next year uh, 
I want one of those. These are so cool. I want one. I want to thank you for joining me on these series of videos covering the LA Auto Show. And if you want to attend, uh, they have given me tickets to give away to you guys. If, if you comment in the comment section down below, I will be giving away a bunch of these tickets, right? So you can come and check all these cars for yourself. Once again, thank you for watching this video. We'll see you guys on the next one. Bye. All right, here on the semi truck video, PM Mag. Great information, would like more. Thinking and converting, texting here from Corona, California. Free tickets? There we go. I just said, hey, you want a free pair of tickets? You have won some tickets. I'm gonna post a comment here, text. Uh, you can email me and I'll send you the free tickets, right? All right, on the Bollinger video, YG, one day ago, so if you still have tickets, I would love some. There you go, you win some. I'm gonna text, I'm gonna post a comment here and then you can email me and then I'll send you some tickets today. Remember, if you want to win tickets, comment down below on this video and then I'll give away some more tickets to you. There's still a few more days that you can go, so I'm gonna be there on Thursday, Thanksgiving day for a few hours, wondering the halls of the show. So if you wanna meet up, hit me up in the comments here. I will see you tomorrow, bye.